Oh, hey guys, Bipolar Barbie here. What are my glasses doing? Um, I wanted to check in today because I've actually come up with some like really awesome insights lately and I really feel like I need to share them because I think they've been life-changing for me. They'll be life-changing for a lot of people. And I just want you to know that the research that I've been doing is solid. I'm not one of those people to like read some article on like, I don't know, some... I don't know what the top websites are, but you know, like reading some article and then you're like, oh my God, that's it. That's the way to go. It's like, if I'm researching something, I read at least 20 articles. Like I read every single article on the first page of the Google search and sometimes like second, third pages. Like I really do my research. I really like reading scholarly articles as well, like from psychiatric journals or, you know, medical journals, like legal journals, like whatever. Um, I'm particularly researching. I've been researching a lot into vitamins at the moment, um, particularly the best vitamins for mental health, because realizing that I had some major vitamin deficiencies was really a wake up call for me recently, because how can I expect my medication like to do its job if I'm not in tip top physical shape? So I'm really, I mean, I've always understood the you know, the link between lifestyle and, and practicing good physical health and good mental health and all that sort of thing. And I really believe in like a holistic approach as in WH, like a whole approach to recovery, getting, you know, I just want to be the best version of myself. And however you want to get there, that's great. I think if we, you know, we're all entitled to share our opinions, but what I've learned is there's not one way to get there. There's not a magic pill, a magic drug, a magic potion, a magic lifestyle choice. It's really about what works for you and it's your own self-discovery journey. And over the last 10 years, I have continued to learn because I'm not yet at 100% where I want to be. So I'm really trying to work as hard as I can. And um, I'm doing some other videos uh, on on the different ones, like I just did one on B12. This video, though, is going to be on, on D3 or vitamin D. Because we all know how important vitamin D is. We hear it all the time. Get your daily dose of vitamin D. I mean, unless you're in Australia and they're like, cover up, slip, slop, slap, like the whole, um, you know, the sun is bad for you kind of thing. The thing is, we're basically all vitamin D deficient. Um, from the research that I've been doing, they say that, you know, anywhere between 6,000 to 10,000 um, international units of vitamin D is what we need to have each day. But they say that the, you know, the average of people is about 600 international units is what people are actually getting. And it's sort of the reason for like that seasonal affective uh, disorder, that kind of like winter depression. And one thing that kind of blew my mind when I was researching it is like they, the, the most potent way to get vitamin D is to get it through sunlight. And it has to be direct sunlight. Um, and it also has to be like it, it gets absorbed through your skin. So that was a bit of a wake up call for me because I try and get as much sunlight as I can, particularly in those winter months, because I do know that the sun energizes me. But in winter, look, you're wearing long sleeve pants, long sleeve shirts, like scarves, you're really covered up. So it's like, it's only really your hands and your face that are absorbing that vitamin D. So if you're looking at your body as like a solar panel, you really don't have that much area to be able to absorb that energy. So no wonder we're really deficient in vitamin D. And vitamin D, you can supplement. It is a lot harder, I guess, for your body to absorb that way. But it actually makes a huge difference to not just your uh, like vitamin. People talk about vitamin D, about absorbing calcium. To be able to absorb calcium, you have to have vitamin D and vitamin K. Without those two, there's no point taking calcium tablets because you're not like the calcium can't get into your bones. So that's really important to remember. But yeah, being vitamin D deficient, it's not just about like giving you kind of like weak bones and osteoporosis when you're older, which I think is what you've always been told. Um, you need it for your skin. You need it for your brain. You need it for your cells. Like you need it for so many different bodily functions. And really your central nervous system can't kind of function without vitamin D. It can't function without a lot of vitamins. But vitamin D is one of those important ones. And I highly recommend that you start uh, supplementing with vitamin D and vitamin B12, which I've talked about in a previous video. Um, 
I mean, obviously speak to your doctor about it, your, like, medical professionals, because, you know, I'm not your doctor. So definitely consult your medical professional about it to see if it's for you. But from the research that I've done, I think it's really for everybody. So it's important to remember to get as much sunlight as you can onto your skin so it can absorb it. But I don't think that anyone really during winter would be able to absorb enough vitamin D. Uh, purely because you know you have to be covered up so it's important to be warm and it's like well do I get warm or do I like lay outside in the what limited sun there is and like freeze my ass off I don't know but I have been sort of like overdosing really on vitamin b12 and vitamin d I think they're both two vitamins that you can't necessarily get a toxicity level from um they excrete and I guess the half-life in your body is quite limited. Um, it leaves your body quite quickly. So you can't get like a toxic toxicity level for them. Probably like you probably could if you're taking like a bucket of vitamins a day. But um, I have noticed a huge increase in my mood in the last like five days since I've been supplementing them. And... I wanted to see if I would get results so I was taking a lot of them and now I'm gonna like slow down a little bit but hugely important hugely important and I really just wish like you know more people knew these things and I think you should subscribe to my channel if you're not because I'm going to be uploading a lot more of these really helpful tips um, there's a bunch of other stuff that I'm learning and I really am excited to share it with you guys because I think I want you guys to have a really awesome quality of life. That's all I want for anyone. That's all I want for myself. And I think it's super important to share these insights and I'm going to continue learning. I'm about to go to the dentist, which is kind of shitty, but I'm going to go in there and then go to the chiropractor and I will see you guys later much level let me know how you go let me know if you have been supplementing with these let me know if you've taken this advice and how you're going